well, let's say, I mean, about the Pokemon Go last year. So, um, this is this was a really interesting phenomenon last year in Korea. It's designed to be played using the Google GPS system, but unfortunately, in Korea, you know, um, we Korean people could not use Google GPS system yet at the time. But you know, for some reason, you know, there was a place, you know, which is called Sokcho, where you can accidentally use GPS. Only place in Korea where you could, you know, play Pokemon Go at the time. People in Korea actually traveled to Sokcho. They went there only to play Pokemon Go. So, um, well, people didn't. Those people didn't even know where Sokcho was. In Korea, but they spend you know two hours or more than five hours to get to Sokcho. So it gives a huge opportunity for the city of Sokcho to host them and eventually you know to make some money out of those you know tourists. They showed more than 150 percent of increase of spending their money for their drinks and food. It it, it had a good impact on. The food and the restaurant industry. Pokemon Go was probably a good example to see to show the um, the potential of using the AR content to some specific generation. In Tokyo, they have this VR entertainment the the facility where you can actually be a main character of Evangelion. It feels like you are actually in a cockpit. But the thing is, you have to go to the site facility to experience it so it actually gives a positive impact for the specific region's economy yeah it is a emerging industry my name is Kenhee Lee and I'm originally from Korea I've been teaching at APU for the last six years and my major is marketing and usually teach consumer behavior marketing research and hospitality marketing